the rise of Caesar. There was clearly in Caesar's personality some unique quality of magnetism. Few, even of his opponents, were wholly insensible to the spell of it. Among his friends, he could count men of every type and station, winning subordinates in particular by his generous loyalty. The mob idolized him. To soldiers, his mere presence at their side was a guarantee of victory. His way with women was irresistible. He himself was conscious of his power and used it to the full. Mastery of men was a necessity of his nature. He would rather, he said, be head of a small country town than play second fiddle at Rome. At what stage of his career he consciously aimed at the monarchy is nevertheless hard to determine. For he was a realist rather than a dreamer living much in the moment and content to concentrate on the immediate task in hand. His political conceptions, moreover, developed very gradually, and he does not seem to have troubled his head much over problems until it was within his power to deal with them effectively. In short, unlike Alexander, he reserved his strength and cultivated his natural powers by a lifelong habit of self-discipline. The very style of his writings reflects the quality of his mind.